the end of the day, the two most valuable resources for everything you want in your life. It's not complicated. Emotional states, energy, that's it. Think about it. If you don't feel good, how are you gonna enjoy this thing we call life? If you don't feel good, people don't wanna be around you. And not to mention also, if you don't feel good, how are you gonna stop yourself from saying things you know you shouldn't be saying? It's almost a cliche. Oh, I should have said this, I should have said that, but that's because you're not addressing the core. That's where all the concepts you're getting from the books, videos, maybe even your counselor, you got some great concepts, but no ability to execute. When you can control your emotions, that is the foundation for that. Again, making everything very simple here. So the reason why you've probably looked back at your life and said, wow, things are not going the way I want, that's because you've never addressed the core before. But when you feel fantastic, that gives you all the, the odds in your favor to actually execute in the way that's, uh, that, that's gonna behoove you and your relationship. But at the end of the day, when you feel great, you're just good. And that's what everyone wants. So let's keep things simple here. But any process you're gonna do to resurrect yourself, your relationships, and your life has to start with that foundation. It does not matter what you know. All your concepts go out the window as soon as you feel fear, sadness, anger. As soon as you feel that stuff, what good are your concepts? They're worth nothing. So it does not matter what you know, it matters what you can do. And if you can't control your emotions, you effectively know zero. Any process you're gonna to do to you know, work on your relationships and your life needs to dress at the core. Number two, energy. Energy is the fuel for everything you're looking for. You know, how are you gonna make your dreams come true? How are you gonna make your relationship to the next level if you don't have any gas in the gas tank? Does that make sense? But that's not a concept, that's a skill. That's a conditioning. And by the way, on that note, a lot of people talk about mindsets and, uh, and beliefs. That's not really what they're looking for. If you think about it, how are you gonna have a mindset when you feel like shit? How's that gonna work out? Your ability to execute is a conditioning. It's the way you feel. The conditioning is actually what allows you to execute a mindset or execute a belief. Beliefs and, and mindsets alone, without the conditioning, without that energy, without that fuel, they're worthless. So at the end of the day, what everyone really wants is a conditioning. And again, that's a skill, that's a process, that's not, that's not a concept. And that's why my, the people that work with me, my clients do the Refocus and Happiness program, they're good either way. Hey, some people get back together with their exes, some don't, and most of them don't even want that person back. But when you feel great, it's a whole different level, not just for your relationships, but for your entire life. So let's kind of close up here. Two most valuable resources, energy and emotional states. When you feel great, you speak great. When you feel great, you just execute at a completely different level. That's what makes all your techniques actually executable. Um, and if you, any, when, if any of you are dealing with stuff where you're trying to get you know, a, a job back, a business back, relationship back, you first have to get you back. And again, to get you back, that's conditioning. When you get you back first, and you're now at this level, people wanna line up with you. Think about it, a lot of you are dealing with breakups, and you're kind of in a rut, you're in a fog. No one wants to be around you. And you the decision to be in a relationship is an emotional decision, it's not logical. You know, you can't take a PowerPoint presentation and say, oh, you're gonna to wanna to be around me because of A, B, and C. It doesn't work like that. People either want to be around you or they don't based on how they feel when they're around you. So if you have a relationship that's not going so well, you can have all the concepts in the world, but if you're not enjoyable to be around, good luck with that. That's not going to work out very well. You can have all the best qualities in the world, but if someone doesn't enjoy their experience with you, that's not going to work out too well. But to get yourself back there, you can't concept your way there. That's a conditioning. That's, a, that's your ability to control the way you feel, okay? So again, uh, I'll kind of close on this note here. Steve Martin has a great phrase. He says, be so good at what you do, people cannot ignore you. I'm gonna show you such, I'm gonna make it so obvious what is available to you when you actually finally dress to the core. And by the way, on that note, uh, again, this is, this is a, a biological process. It allows you to rewire, recondition your brain like you, re, well, like you recondition a muscle. I got doctors to do my program. Why do you think that is? A lot of you might have heard the idea of neuroplasticity, brain cells that fire together and wire together, but this is a true practical experience allowing you to recondition, rewire your brain like you'd recondition muscle. Same thing. And again, it allows you to keep moving at higher and higher levels. Um, but anyway, so bottom line is that is what addresses the core. That's what allows you to take your, your relationships and your life to the levels you ultimately want to go. Anyway, enjoy it. I'm going to make this so obvious for you in this, the end part of this video here where you see a bunch of people that are just like you, uh, same situations. At the end of the day, no offense to you guys, but your, your situation is not as unique as you think it is. You have a brain that is capable of incredible things if you give it the right process, the right condition, the right stimulus. You have no idea what you're capable of. And again, at the end of the day, everything you've done is because you want to feel a certain way. But to feel a certain way consistently, that's a conditioning process, and that's why you're gonna to wanna to address the course. So enjoy the video, talk to you guys soon. Take care.
frustrated is not even the right word. Uh, mm -hmm. I would call it a pretty severe clinical depression. Okay. Um, anxiety, uh, just uh, self-esteem down in the dumps and blaming myself, you know, asking myself, what's wrong with me? Why am so, why am I so reject worthy? What am I not enough of not smart enough, not pretty enough, not educated enough, not responsible, you know, and I was I kept going down the list and this was my rehearsal <laughs> and it was bad. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I spent, I spent a lot of time crying to the point that my eyes were puffy and sore and, um, I was alone a lot of the time and isolating a lot. You know, if anybody knows the, the, uh, the, the symptoms of clinical depression, I hit everything but suicidality, literally. Not thinking, feeling, believing that I was not worthy because I was, because I felt that if somebody had ba basically thrown me away, that I was the kind of person that's worth throwing away. So, um, it was like that. How would you, how would you compare yourself? How do you feel about your life, your relationship? Your, how would you compare where you're at now versus how you were just six weeks ago? Um, it's hard to believe. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good way of putting it. It's a, uh, it's like a freaking miracle. And I know it's not a miracle because I've worked for it, but I, you know, you said, you, you said what I thought was ridiculous. You said there'd be a Bonnie <laughs> 5.0. Uh -huh. And I feel like that. Like, different person. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of that shit going on anymore. There isn't crying. There isn't a waste mm -hmm. of time. Uh, I mean, there's a really long, I mean, I can, things are, everything you promised has come to fruition and, and more and more um, things I didn't expect. So how do you feel about your life now, now going forward? How do you feel about the future? Um, it's just gonna keep get. it's great right now and it's just gonna keep getting better and better. So this is awesome for you because you, you have the psychology background. You use the words, I was clinically depressed. So I'm saying after you experience what you experience, do you really believe in depression? No. In, in the way in the way you were taught no no um the question <clears throat> was a muscle that i worked out a lot yeah yeah and with that and with that muscle being worked out all of a sudden voila ta-da depression doesn't exist anymore <laughs> you, you got so i stopped working out the depression muscle and i started working out lots of other much more beneficial muscles mm -hmm. yeah exactly there you go exactly yeah. and so therefore it's not it's just it's no different than having atrophied muscles that you never work out. So you just did the, now you did what you had to do. Now, now you're good. Yes. And it's, again, it's not a magic trick. Yeah, yeah no, no, definitely not a magic trick. <laughs> there, there's, yeah. there's, there's rock solid, as you and I both know, mm -hmm. rock solid science, brain, fucking brain science behind this. I usually don't jump on things when I first hear them. I, for example, your, uh, your program, I looked at your emails probably every day for six months, six months yeah. before I, I, and I, you know, I wanted to know how much is this going to cost? What, what is this? Uh, right. You know, is this guy uh, for real? And, you know, I did some Google searches on, eventually I, I felt like I need to, I need to, get myself together here. And uh, that's when I went ahead and gave you the call. Well, eventually uh, I did end up giving you a call and uh, I'm glad that I did. And I've stuck with the program uh, since day one. And you said, you said, Lance, I want someone who is going to take me beyond the finish line, take me to the finish line. Somebody's going to get me there. That's why I was looking for somebody else to be more of a coach and, and not just to read books because I'd already done that. So uh, that's when I came across your program mm -hmm. and after watching you over and over and reading some of the things felt like, yeah, I, I think this might be worth taking a, 
taking a chance on. I mean, everything's a gamble. You take risks and, you know, you take calculated risks. And it was a calculated risk because it wasn't cheap. Uh, not that I can't afford it, but even for me, you know, it's, it's an investment. Mm -hmm. And so there's no guarantees on an investment. You're taking a little bit of a risk. Some are less risky than others, but, uh, you know, I felt like on balance it was worth the risk and I took it and I'm glad I did. Well, you know, there's a lot of parts to what you put into your presentation and some will appeal to some people, some will appeal to another. And for me, when you went into the neuroplasticity thing, that somehow triggered something in my mind, you know, yes, of course this works. This is how you develop, you know, brain patterns over time. And some of the reading that I had done about how to form habits, etc., also kicked in. And I realized, okay, we're forming a habit here, a set of habits that are, are going to become part of who you are. You know, even from the first time we talked, I was impressed by your confidence. And that has a lot to do with inspiring confidence in others. Mm -hmm. You were very confident that you could be helpful even from the very first time that we spoke on the phone before I even signed up for the program. And it was pretty obvious to me, you've done this for some time, you've practiced this, you have a program that you know in and out, and you're not starting out with me, you've gone through this with many other people. I just got dumped and it was like, I, I can't go through this. I can't, I'm not going to live life like this. Uh, I can't let this person control me or this situation control me. I need to get over this and I need to do it now because I couldn't, I was so devastated. Uh, I was so devastated and I didn't think I could get through it. And then you came in, it was like, it was perfect timing when I saw that Facebook ad, it was like, it was like, it was meant for me. And so I knew that I needed to do this and I wasn't going to, uh, I didn't want to go through this anymore. The pain was just unbearable. And, and what your program did for me was not only did I get over this person. Um, I mean, I'm so happy that he found her. <laughs> it was like a blessing. I mean, I, sometimes I'll look on their Facebook and I'm like, Oh my God, they look good together. <laughs> I didn't belong with him. And I'm like so happy for them, like literally. And this is the person that broke my heart. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't, isn't that amazing? Like again, people think I'm like crazy. Do they see him not? Like you would, would you have ever thought, would, before you and I spoke, would you ever thought you would actually feel like that? Were you actually grateful? And you actually appreciate me? Like, you know what? I'm glad they found each other. You never saw that one coming, did you? No, I never did. I kept thinking, is he going to come back? Or what can I do? Or, and in this process, I found myself, I'm, it's like if my mind, I was asleep and there was like, this woke me up. This pain, going through this woke me up. I would spend months mourning the loss of the relationship. Now it's like, whatever, I feel like I'm the prize. And if you that are, person- And you are. And if that person can't see that, then that's their loss. And I'm perfectly fine. Like, I don't need anybody to validate me. I validate my own self. And if you would have told really me back then that I would be feeling this way now, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have believed you. I'd have been like, yeah, right. But yeah, here I am. And I feel awesome. I feel, I feel awesome. <laughs> Money well spent. Would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah.